Assalamu alaikum everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Tacha hao, vanakum. Annyong ha seo. Konnichiwa, sawadi ha. Mabu hai. Welcome back to Solo Channel. Today we are going to learn Unit 7 Growing Up Vocabulary Robert Wadlow, The Gentle Giant Using English Plus One Students Book Year 5, page 76. Pada hari ini, kita akan belajar unit ke-7 membesar. Kita akan belajar kosakata baru mengenai kisah Robert Wedlow menggunakan buku murid English Plus 1 tahun 5 muka surat 76. These are the objective in today's lesson. Exercise 1. Read the text about Robert Wedlow. Sila baca petikan ini mengenai Robert Wedlow. Check the meaning of the phrases in blue. Write the past simple form of the verbs. Listen and check. Sila semak 10 rangkai kata berwarna biru ini. Kemudian sila tulis semula dalam bentuk past simple iaitu sudah lepas. Dengar dan semak. For your information, all the phrases in blue are in present simple form. And all the meanings are given based on the text. Untuk pengetahuan kamu, semua rangkai kata berwarna biru ini dalam keadaan present simple. Manakala maksud-maksud yang diberikan adalah berdasarkan kepada situasi dalam petikan. 1. Grow up. Apabila sudah lepas iaitu past simple, ia menjadi grew up, membesar. 2. Go to school. Went to school. Pergi ke sekolah. 3. Leave school. Left school. Tamat belajar. 4. Go to university. Went to university. Pergi university. 5. Get a qualification. Got a qualification. Mendapat sijil. 6. Get a job. Got a job. Mendapatkan pekerjaan. 7. Get married. Got married. Berkahwin. 8. Have children. Had children. Mempunyai anak. 9. Travel. Traveled. Mengembara. And 10. Die. Died. Meninggal dunia. Exercise 2. Do you think people in the USA like or dislike Robert? Listen to a podcast about him and check your answer. Pada pendapat kamu, adakah orang-orang di USA menyukai atau tidak menyukai Robert? Dengarkan audio ini mengenai dia dan semak jawapan kamu. Good luck! Robert Wadlow was born in February 1918 in the town of Alton, Illinois, in the USA. He grew up and went to school there, and people in the town loved him. He grew very quickly. At the age of six, he was taller than his father. That was a problem at school, so they made a special desk for him. Robert was the oldest of five children. He had two brothers and two sisters who were a normal height. When Robert left school at the age of 17, he was 2.48 metres tall. He went to university, but it was difficult for him, so he left. Robert became famous in the USA when he appeared in a famous circus. People called him the Alton Giant, the Giant of Illinois. People also called him the Gentle Giant because he spoke very quietly. Robert never stopped growing. Robert got a job with the shoe company that made his special shoes and travelled around the country with his father. They went to 800 different towns in the USA, and Robert became more famous. Sadly, Robert died at the age of 22 
because of a problem with one of his feet. People were very sad when Robert died. People like him. Exercise three. Listen again and complete one until nine in the text. Sila dengarkan sekali lagi dan lengkapkan nombor satu hingga sembilan di dalam petikan. Robert Wadlow, the gentle giant, the story of the tallest man who ever lived. When was he born? In February 1918 in Orton. Illinois in the USA. Where did he grow up and go to school? In Orton. Did he have any brothers and sisters? Yes, he did. He was the oldest of five children. He had two brothers and two sisters. They were all a normal height. At what age did he leave school? He left school when he was 17. Did he go to university? Yes, he did. But he left and he didn't get a qualification. How did he become famous? He appeared in a circus. What did people call him? People called him the giant of Illinois or the gentle giant because he spoke very quietly. Where did he get a job? He got a job with a shoe company that made his special shoes. Did he get married and have children? No, he didn't. Did he travel much? Yes, he did. He visited 800 different towns in the USA when he traveled for the shoe company. When did he die? He died at the age of 22 because of a problem with one of his feet. One, nineteen eighteen. Two, two brothers. Three, two sisters. Four, normal. Five, seventeen. Six, spoke. Seven, eight hundred. Eight, twenty-two. Nine, feet. Exercise four. Write sentences about a person in your family. Use the past simple form of the verbs in the text. Sila tulis beberapa ayat mengenai seseorang di dalam keluarga kamu. Berdasarkan kata kerja di dalam petikan, sila gunakan ia dalam bentuk past simple, iaitu sudah lepas. Example: My dad was born in Izmir. He grew up in Istanbul. Exercise five. Work in pairs. Compare your sentences in exercise four. Secara berpasangan, sila bandingkan ayat-ayat kamu dalam latihan empat. Alright, well done everyone for your great effort today. I hope you have lots of fun learning English with me as much as I have lots of fun teaching you guys. Do support Teacher YouTubers Facebook group and kindly like, share and subscribe Solo Channel for more videos. Thank you so much for watching my video. Xie xie ni, nandri. Kam sam mita arigato gozaimasu. Kapkun ka? Salamat. See you in the next video. Jumpa lagi di video akan datang. Bye. I love you all. Annyeong.